Celebrity Big Brother contestant Wayne Sleep told the royal anecdote on the show. Claimed the Queen once found four empty bottles in the Clarence House cupboard. Said the Queen turned to her mother, who lived there, and exclaimed, Mummy. The Queen once told off her mother when she discovered empty bottles of gin tucked away in a cupboard in Clarence House, it is claimed. The monarch, now 91, and the Queen Mother were hosting a visiting dignitary at the royal residence in London and offered to make a drink for their guest. But when the Queen was left shocked when she opened the cupboard to find four empty bottles of gin lined up a shelf, and turned around to exclaim, Mummy. The anecdote was shared by dancer and celebrity Big Brother contestant Wayne Sleep, 69, who is believed to have been at Clarence House at the time. The residence was at the time home to the Queen Mother, who died aged 101 in March 2002. It is now the home of the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall. Speaking on last night's episode of the reality TV show, Sleep told Rachel Johnson about the amusing exchange during a conversation on the sofa. He said, I think some delegate from Ghana was over and invited to Clarence House. And the Queen came along, just the three of them, and she went, what would you like? She said, I'd like a gin and tonic. She said, no worries at all, open the cupboards. There were four empty gin bottles there and she turned and went, mummy. That was the Queen with the Queen Mother. Mummy. Empties. At just 5 feet 2 in sleep became the shortest male dancer ever in the Royal Ballet School when he joined in 1966. He famously danced with Princess Diana to Uptown Girl at the annual Christmas party of the Friends of Covent Garden at the Royal Opera House in 1985. The ballet dancer, who lives in London with husband Jose Bergera, previously judged ITV show Stepping Out. He also appeared on a celebrity edition of The Chase and joined a host of celebrity pensioners to film BBC's The Real Marigold Hotel. He was also one of the stars of the 20th anniversary celebration of The Full Monty where he stripped off on stage alongside Olympic swimmer Mark Foster and Red Dwarf actor Danny John Jules.